energie, siamo ormai, ecco ormai che Argentina si volta, siamo ormai nella zona dei box a quanto al traguardo. Lorenzo al mare, ecco il momento decisivo della Sanremo, Gimondi parte. 645 con Marco Pantani scatenato. Bello. La vittoria per distacco Sanremo con la maglia iridata addosso. Marco Pantani sta portando a termine in maniera trionfale questo Sanremo ormai in vista del governo. Allora anche qui è campione del mondo. Allora anche qui campione del mondo. Felice Gimondi in the late 60s. Well, Moreno Argentino with this bike in 1986. Marco Pantani the pirate in the late 90s. Those guys were all on a Celeste Bianchi bike. This is a myth. I mean, I, I can feel all of that around me. I think I feel pretty much a hero <laughs> riding this 10% uh, average hill with this bike. So first of all, I cannot even imagine how those guys, the pros in the 80s, how they could ride a whole Giro on these bikes. I mean, truly, this is, this gearing is incredible. With this bike, above six or 80%, I never can be agile, at least me. I mean, with a 23, I suffer it a lot. Wherever I am here, about 40 RPM, on the more than I would be at least 65, 70. Overall, this bike is very reactive. I mean, I thought being uh, steel, it couldn't be reactive, but truly, if I jump on the pedal, I mean, on a on a pretty much flat, it is reactive. I mean, the bike is fantastic. What I love of this bike, well, first of all, is the color, the Celeste Bianchi, the blue from Bianchi, this green, blue. And then think for a moment, Bianchi has been truly since ever the biking company. Wow. This is 18%. Even if I, I walk, I don't think I will put that footage in the video. I'm ready to walk another little stretch. I think I'm, I'm very close to the third walk. Mamma mia. I chose a, a road which is uh, really like 20% with uh, a 23 cassette in the back is, uh, is impossible. <laughs> Mom, I can't ride, I'm walking, how about that? I know that if the, these clips will go on the vlog and they will be strong riders and above all my business partner and uh, somebody from uh, the Siciclando family that they will be so ready to tease me. When I was uh, thinking about this vlog, I said, okay, so how I can compare the two bikes? <laughs> so here is one parameter. How many times I do walk <laughs> on this hill with a vintage bike and how many times I do with a modern. Same ride with my Officine Matteo. Same starting. Same 15% which will become soon 18. I got the ride on a super fantastic Bianchi X4 from 86, couldn't ride, <laughs> performance was pretty low compared to this and now I am on a, a super modern 
high-end 12-speed electronic wireless whatever <laughs> so let's not compare the performance certainly the comfort really you push on the bike and even with the gearing I mean it's incredible the mechanic versus the the electronic no way sometimes people ask me and say so is uh, as much reliable as uh, the mechanic of course it is never had any issue zero SRAM last year they released the 12 speed new gearing a combination and in fact the the compact is now 46 33 which is great for me and in the back you have a 10 33 a 32 33 is a great uh, light gearing that I so badly needed plus something else that a modern bike so any any new modern bike gives me is a sense of safety regardless the performance that I go faster now that is not the point I'm just safer of course safety is a first priority right but what I can say is that regardless the bike and the level of performance cyclism has one feature that uh, is always there you need your legs you need to suffer yeah at the end of the game you might get there saving 30 minutes but the point is if you want to do that you better bike you better suffer vintage bike modern bike who cares when I'm biking I just feel it all and when in Italy it's pure magic